Evan Almighty 23 coming at you with a new video and today I am doing a depth chart change for the Bears. I'm just going to go in order through all the teams and do a depth chart change for every single team in the NFL and show you guys what I would do. This isn't the best way to set it up. This is just the way I would set it up and this is going to be spontaneous. I don't have this planned out. I'm just going to go as I go but we're going to start at the quarterback position. We're going to keep Jay Cutler there. He's not very accurate for me, but he's uh, better than Jason Campbell. Jason Campbell's a very good backup, though. So if Jay Cutler ever was to get injured, Jason Campbell is a, a good bet to put in there. At running back, you're going to put Forte. I like to leave Booker at number two. I had uh, just made some changes here before. Uh, j just... Uh, I just played with the Bears, actually. That's what I'm trying to say. So I made some changes, so... Bush is normally at the number two. You're going to put Bush at number three. Put Booker at number two. Now, if you can run with the 86 speed running back, then do it. But I don't like the 86 speed. I like the 92 speed because I put Bush in at fullback. Because uh, their fullback's not that good. So I put Bush in there. A wide receiver, you want to have Brandon Marshall. I put Devin Hesser. Johnny Knox is normally injured. So you want to bring him into the number three slot. And Earl Bennett to the number four. All right. And uh, that these are just what I would do. Like I said, these aren't like the set set ways to do it. Al Jeff. Oh, Al Jeff. All right, we're actually going to put him at the number. Yeah, we're going to put him in because he's 6'3", faster. Just a better receiver. All right. And at tight end, we're going to leave Kellen Davis as it is. Uh, the line, I didn't do anything there. Kind of a weak line. But here, at left end, I put Lance Briggs. Uh, he's a 94 overall at left end. And then you have Julius Peppers on the other side. You're going to get a lot of pressure with those two. Defensive tackle, you're going to leave Melton. And back up, you're going to have uh, the 98 strength here. You want to put him there. All right, left end, you're going to keep Nick Roach, 83 speed, 76 overall. Erlacher, obviously, a middle linebacker. Right outside linebacker, Geno Hayes. Cornerback, Charles Tillman is, people don't like his 88 speed, but he's locked down. He's a great cornerback, and he's got good catching. Zachary Bowman is normally uh, injured. I think he's injured in real life. He was out, so put Zachary Bowman at the number two and Jennings at the number three. The reason I have Bowman is because he's 6'1". He gets interceptions with his 72 speed, I believe. Yep, 72 speed. Tillman's got 70 speed. Jennings has got 65 speed. And then 80 speed for DJ Moore. The reason I'm not playing DJ Moore is he's got 88 speed. He's gotten burnt in the past when I played with him. And he's got uh, only he's only 5'9". But if you did want to do something, you could put DJ Moore in for Tim Jennings if you wanted to have like an interception cornerback crew in the game if you needed some interceptions or anything like that all right so you're gonna leave the safeties as is i wish they still had brandon merriweather i love how he plays but unfortunately they do not have him this year uh, because they had him last year so you're gonna leave those as is and you're gonna leave your kicker and punter as is and make sure of course Devin hester is your punt and kick returner so i hope you guys enjoyed these this depth chart setup i hope it helped you guys out this is just my suggestion the best way to do it is not the best way to do it so hope you guys enjoy it until next time peace and make sure to subscribe if you haven't for more depth chart changes and daily madden videos online gameplays and all that great stuff peace